The metaverse is an iteration of the greater internet represented by 3D virtual worlds focused on social connection. Now, that's a mouthful. What's really important for you to wrap your mind around is that the metaverse could become the next major online destination where users from around the globe can congregate, engage, buy, sell, play, and work. So to be clear, the metaverse is essentially a merging of virtual, augmented, and physical reality and blurs the lines between your interactions online and in real life. In other words, it's where we connect and it's undoubtedly where the internet is heading. So you better get ready for it. In this episode, we're talking about, you guessed it, the metaverse. It's among the biggest buzzwords at CES, the Consumer Electronics Showcase this year. Our LMGE and InFocus team was on the ground and we're bringing this to you so you can get up to speed as we are learning. That's Yu Sun Chung, Executive Chair of Hyundai Motor Group and one of the architects of Hyundai's vision for the metaverse and how it will impact our connectivity in the future with robotics and mobility at the center. There's simply a virtual world that exists beyond the physical world. Uh, currently, the metaverse is seen as a gaming platform, but can they think the possibility of the metaverse in infinite? The metaverse will expand the world we live in. To get started in this metaverse experience, I entered Hyundai's eye-popping virtual space called Joytown, where I had the opportunity to create my own avatar, which was pretty quick and easy. Then, I load my avatar into my selected Joytown scene. Check me out in my studio, enjoying some music. My friend calls me to invite me to a festival. So, off we go. I can easily hop into my Mobis. Blending community-based travel solutions with social interactivity, Mobis is an all-electric vehicle platform that comes in two different sizes, 30 kilowatts and 50 kilowatts. The Mobis features an external LED that can display images, messages, graphics, and information to those outside. The vehicle is designed for commuter travel in the city, but also offers some recreational options like camping and other activities with plenty of storage options. It's also very well suited for delivery services and ride sharing. When you're interacting with the Mobis, it's reminiscent of a classic arcade video game steering wheel. If you're over 25, you might remember those. The Mobis has a wide field of view and a uniquely designed transparent display so you have a full view in the M-Vision model. Get this, it has crab walk capabilities, taking mobility to the next level. The wheels were designed to move forward and backwards or side to side, which allows for innovative parking assistance for those tight or awkward spaces. One thing we know for sure, the world is changing and the way we connect is evolving. I think the metaverse as a social connectivity platform has many uses and will be only limited by our imagination. I'm excited to learn more as it all unfolds and evolves further. The concept is familiar, so I can see a broad appeal for varying age groups. It could be a fun family experience, one that I would engage in with my own family. I can even see it providing companionship in a world where in-person connections may become more limited, allowing users to create their own unique characters and engaging in scenarios for the experience and the fun of it as it sets your imagination free. That makes me interested in playing. It's like stepping outside of yourself and immersing into a different world. How exciting. Please be sure to subscribe, ring the bell for notification of new shows, and drop a comment with your thoughts on the metaverse. Stay tuned for more on the metaverse, robotics, and mobility in our changing world. That's it for this episode of InFocus TV, Beyond Insight. I'm Woody Lassane. I'll see you next time.